Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the concept of demand forecasting and further we are also going to discuss the various objectives and process of demand forecasting. Now let us first understand the concept of demand forecasting. See, it is very important for an organization to understand the demand for its products. Yes, because we have to avoid the wastage of resources when everything is pre-planned it is very easy to do everything in an efficient and effective manner so therefore the role of demand forecasting comes here basically what do we do we basically predict the demand for our products and we produce accordingly and plan everything according to this only right so now coming on to the objectives of demand forecasting see we use various machines and tools while producing our goods okay so it is very important that we use them in an optimum manner okay so when everything is pre-planned we know what our demand will be so we will be planning everything accordingly and there will be efficient utilization of our machines there will be no wastage of resources okay and there will be timely production of goods and services also now timely supply of raw materials and other components yes very natural if everything is planned pre-planned then what will happen if we will get the raw materials from our supplier on time because we have already have a word with the had a word with the suppliers okay they know when the materials has to reach to the factory right so there is timely there is no wastage of time also then planning the financing needs and sourcing. Yes, who will be our financers? The banks, the debenture holders or the com we will be financing to commercial papers or working capital loan. Okay, so when we know what our demand will be, we will be planning everything in advance and it will be very easy to understand or come to know about all our financers. Okay, then timely supply of required labor force. We all know that for manufacturing a certain thing we have to require we require certain labor force also right so timely supply of labor force yes because we have pre-planned everything how much labor we are going to require okay in so much time and uh, from where we will hire them okay so everything is pre-planned so it becomes very easy for the organization to acquire the labor force right and put them to use accordingly and now let us discuss the process of demand forecasting see first of all we need to specify the objective why are we predicting the demand why do we need to estimate the demand for so and so products okay what is the purpose basically then coming on to the determining the demand a time horizon or time period yes in how much time we have to mix so and so products okay what will be our time period in such and such and so and so and so time we have to complete the production of so and so products right then coming on to the third one which is selecting a method of demand yes it's very important that we select a method or a, a strategy of demand there are many methods like we we can ask our salespersons who are directly involved in selling the products or through experts opinions okay then there are many economic tools also like regression technique okay then the, there is pot and cpr very top techniques are there for demand forecasting so this is basically used for selecting a method of demand and after this the collection of data is done okay we have to collect the data from all the experts let's say we have chosen delphi technique okay so at this stage we will be collecting the data of the various experts and further will be will be putting them and organizing the data in an organized and synchronized way okay at the last step step what do we do we basically interpret the result in this stage basically 
the whole data is analyzed and finally a clear prediction about the demand is made right so what did we discuss today we basically understood the concept of demand forecasting it is basically an estimation of how much of a commodity will be demanded by customers in future right we need to predict the demand because we want that there is no procrastination or delay in the production of goods and services we are very much clear about what we have to produce when we have to produce how we have to produce okay so when everything happens in a pre planned way what happens there is an efficient and effective utilization of all the resources that is there is timely supply also okay there is the time gets saved and there is no wastage of resources also okay so it is very helpful for the organizations okay then we discussed about the objectives of demand forecasting what is the aim why do we do demand forecasting it is because as i said that we have to save the time okay we have to save the time in the sense that all the raw materials the labor force financing needs are supposed to happen on time when we have pre planned them okay so optimum utilization of machines yes when everything is pre planned we will be using machines in a very efficient manner okay we will we will not be facing any kind of shortage or paucity in the production of goods and services everything will be available to us on time raw materials our suppliers will know that we we have to sell or we have to supply the material in such and such time so they will be sending us on time and the machines will also work accordingly and they will there will be no wastage of resources and that there will be a lot of say time saving right then we further discussed about the process of demand forecasting so a uh, demand forecasting's first objective first step is to specify the objective okay we have to know why are we predicting demand what is the reason what is our objective of predicting or estimating demand okay then we have to frame a time time horizon yes for this much time i have to determine the demand for 6 months yes for 6 months how much demand would be there for my product for one year how much demand would be there for my product right then we have to select a method for demand yes method of demand is basically we have to know that through which strategy we will come to know about our demand there are many strategies which we are going to discuss in detail in our coming videos one of them being is the opinion poll method where we take the opinion of a sales person was directly involved with the customers they are selling directly to the customer so they we take their opinion also how much demand would be there for a product in future then finally we collect the data yes we collect the data from all, all these parties and then organize them in a synchronized way after this happens we interpret the results okay it is the final time of estimating the demand so everything is analyzed in detail and then the data is interpreted and the future demand is made okay now let us uh, discuss some important questions relate related to this topic the first one is what is demand forecasting a determining the price b understanding consumer behavior c predicting the production of goods d determining the cost of goods okay so we all know that demand forecasting is basically concerned with predicting the demand of a product so what does a third option says it says that predicting the production of goods yes we are eventually producing the goods only right so the correct answer for this would be production of goods okay now the next question under which or what step in demand forecasting process the data is analyzed to predict the demand okay so the first one is determining the time horizon in this we basically determine in so and so time such and such time we have to produce this much goods 
okay determining the time horizon yes we want to see for six months how much demand would be there for a product in collection of data we find we collect the data from various experts okay and then comes his interpretation of results yes here we basically analyze the collected data so the correct answer for this question would be analyzing or interpreting the collected data specifying the object is the first step so this was all for today guys thank you so much for your time see you soon bye bye